Hey peeps, I will show you an easy way to win a 10 mini steel down with a build that will explode everything in your way and even beyond. You just have to select Hina and choose the crossbow as a weapon. So, before we start, we can defeat the Algarin beast together by pressing the like button. I will promise you all kinds of crazy builds and I will show you a lot of underrated games, so consider subscribing. Without any more intro, let's begin the run. Yes, reload rate. Because the crossbow is really slow. What's nice with it, it's as long as you stay, it will do more damage, you know. But you kind of want to move. What build I like to do with Hina, it's uh, piercing, bullet damage and reload. Max ammo, reload rate. Should I pick this one? Does this guarantee kills them? I don't remember. Yes. But if a bullet will not kill them, the Shadow Clone will. Nice. Nice. See that? The insane amount of damage. Uh, yes, let's go with some bullet size and some bullet damage okay you want to always explode those shit I'm getting stuck here this uh, exploding once I guess because if you group a lot of enemies and shoot one of them oh shit they will kill all of the enemies near that, you know, and it, that will give you a lot of XP. What I want to try now is uh, Nomad Survivors. I think the game has a lot more options than Vampire Survivors and I, it's more interesting for me. I live near a mall guys and a lot of cars are... I don't know, breaking suddenly here or something like that. A lot of motorcycles, you know. Uh, this character is kind of risky, you know, you have the dodge, but she really is risky. Fuck. Just want to go there and take the, the experience. Uh, in this game, it's a little bit tricky. Ooh. Where I have that piercing from? Doesn't matter. It's a little bit tricky. That it's kind of dark and you sometimes don't see the enemies. And they kind of kill you. Uh, 3 bullets, 10% damage. I think that's nice. That is nice too, but I kind of want this one. Ooh, you saw that? I did not see that enemy. Yes, it's kinda nice. Ooh, that was satisfying. A lot of juicy experience here. Fuck. Uh, reload rate. Another one, another HP. I think I want I want another HP because this character is so squishy, guys. Hey, be careful, be careful. Kinda want to kill that one. Because it will give me a chest with an upgrade and... It's, he is not that strong, you see? Nice. Okay, nice. Uh, freeze. I think it's good because I have a lot of projectiles exploding into more projectiles and uh, a lot of enemies exploding into projectiles. I think I never upgraded the, the freeze 
skill. The freeze skill is kinda nice when you are trying to survive the last two minutes and a lot of enemies will come through, you know. If I can have something that explodes the you know the shards and the frozen ones, I think that could be really nice. It's the, and it is the first time I tried this build guys. So we are seeing it in, in a premiere, you know. Uh should I pick some move speed reload rate? Guess I will take some No shit. So stupid. Okay, the reload speed is kind of nice. Yes, the shards are nice too. Kind of fucked up there a little bit. Uh, I guess the magic dagger is kind of nice with this build. Okay, at level at minute five, this fucker appears. And it's kinda strong, you know? No. Ooh, that was close. Close. Come on. Uh. Okay, it's nice that you can kind of freeze him a little bit. He's also not that strong, you know? But I think you should always focus on the little ones because the space is too cramped and they will get to you really fast and uh, it's not really worth to, to beat this one already. I mean you can shoot him while you can but that's not really a must you know. Because after one min one minute the square will disappear. Okay, what does this one? Heal one HP every ninety seconds. Mm, not really great at this moment. Wait for him to jump. Then use the front. Okay, the square disappeared. Now we can shoot him. You see, he's done already. Okay. So you can take fire rate, this one is good with the thunder, bullet damage, piercing, yes this one I will take, minus one max HP, that's kinda, na that's kinda nasty but kinda need this one, it's good that I took that weapon there, uh, not that weapon, that life, ooh 45 damage and if I sit in place, okay nice, okay if you are building piercing damage, don't ever take the how it's called the bouncing damage too because it will it will it will negate the the pierce you know and that's kind of sucks because the piercing damage is really strong especially with the crossbow okay fire rate thunder no enemies affected by freeze explodes when killed uh yes i kind of want to try this one Because I have a lot of exploding damage now. Can this be the round where I don't have to run? On the last two minutes to run in a straight line and just be able to fight them. Can this be the one? I kinda have to be careful. Shit. Uh, the one that shoots bullets through you, to you I mean, are kinda strong and they have a lot of HP. Okay, nice, I kinda want some more damage. When an enemy is inflicted with freeze, they lose 25 of their max HP. I think that's nice. Yes, a lot of exploding. I guess so, and what it's bad on the last two minutes is that if I find the run... Oh man, 
I have so much damage. If you run from the enemies, you can't collect any more experience, you know? It's kinda almost guarantee win, but I kinda want to see more power, you know? Okay, what should I pick here? Reload, fire rate, move speed, reload rate, that's kinda nice. Yes, it's nice. It's really nice. I have a lot of damage. I think it's the first round. Oh man, what is happening here? I see a lot of bullets on the screen. I, it's the first round that I, I am able to beat them. Man, like crazy. What the fuck is happening? Uh, should I pick this one? I think this one would be nice, but I will pick this one for now. Yes. Because I just want a lot of bullets and a lot of... Man, I am destroying the entire screen. You see that? So amazing. Did not expect this build to be so strong really projectiles plus one uh i think yes because i don't kind of i don't need that bullet damage anymore you know oh man that's so satisfying a lot of dopamine hits there and i shoot them in a way and then I'm going to just collect the experience. Nice, another level up. Uh, fire rate? Not really. Let's go with more reload speed. Let's see how much reload speed. Oh, it's almost instant, you know, you see. I can shoot all the way. It's not even a second. Ooh, look at that. So satisfying. Strongest build that I ever made in this game. And it's the first try for today. Really neat. Nice. Oh man. It really is really really satisfying. Kinda GG. I think I could survive 20 minutes with this build easily. Okay, look how many upgrades and perks I've got. You survived, and that's how you do it guys. Just like that. That's a win with Hina. Thank you guys for watching, you are the best. Okay, so let's finish up the video, and I will tell you why to subscribe. If you found any value in the information I provided, and like the content overall, consider subscribing. This channel will be all about RPG type games, roguelikes, metroidvidian, or anything that lets you create and experiment builds. I will maybe throw occasionally some shooters and survivals, but mostly I will cover games that let you upgrade your character and see the numbers on the screen popping up. You can support me into making more content by accessing the Patreon page. I want to be able to at least pay my rent from this side hustle hobby and maybe one day I will be able to quit my job and follow my passion and show the world some great games and fun builds into each specific one. Also comment if you managed to reach this part of the video. Thank you guys for watching and see you on the next video. I pray that the RNG gods will support your adventure.